The PowerMax 30 Air is a very portable and powerful plasma system with a built-in air compressor. This brief video is designed to provide you with basic information on the PowerMax 30 Air setup and operation, as well as tips on how to optimize cut quality and consumable life. The system is easy to set up and operate, but please be sure to follow all safety instructions mentioned in the operator manual or illustrated in the labels on the system. It is extremely important that the operators fully understand and follow preventive methods to guard against electrical shock and to protect skin, ears, lungs, and eyes. Setting up the PowerMax 30 Air for cutting can be done in five easy steps. First, check for the proper installation of the torch consumables by unscrewing the retaining cap to remove the parts within. Replace the parts by first placing the electrode in the swirl ring, then the nozzle. Place these parts in the retaining cap, then snap on the deflector. Screw the retaining cap onto the torch until finger tight. Do not over tighten as the consumables may become damaged and interfere with proper operation. Second, plug the power cord into the proper receptacle. Depending on your model, this may require attaching a plug adapter. On some models, a plug may not be attached to the power cord. If the installation of a plug is required, or the system is to be hardwired to a power source, the work must be done by a licensed electrician. For input voltage requirements, read the data plate on the bottom of the system or the operator manual. Third, attach the work clamp securely to the workpiece. Rust, paint, or coatings must be removed to ensure that the clamp has a good electrical contact. The work clamp should never be attached to the portion of the metal that will fall away. Fourth, adjust the amperage knob to the appropriate output based on the incoming power and breaker size. Fifth, power on the system. The power lamp on the front of the system will illuminate. We are now ready to begin cutting. If cutting thin metal, the amperage may be lowered for improved consumable life, better cut quality, and for less smoke. To perform an edge start, hold the torch vertically just off the edge of the workpiece. Flip the safety trigger forward and press the red torch trigger. The pilot arc transfers to the workpiece and becomes the cutting arc. Pause at the edge until the arc has completely cut through the workpiece, then proceed with the cut. Avoid unnecessary starts as this will reduce nozzle and electrode life. The nozzle may be dragged on the workpiece for ease of cutting. When nearing the end of the cut, on thick metal, angle the torch into the direction of the cut, allowing the arc to come out first, to ensure a complete cut. Maintaining proper travel speed is key to successful cutting. Watch the arc beneath the plate, as sparks should lag 15 to 30 degrees behind the cut. If the sparks are vertical, then the cut speed is too slow. If the sparks are perpendicular to the cut or are spraying up from the workpiece, then the speed is too fast or the system does not have sufficient power. Lag lines on the finished cut edge should also be about 15 to 30 degrees. A plasma cutting guide, straight edge, or template can be used to guide the torch. However, the distance from the shield center to the edge must be factored in when creating a template or the placement of a straight edge. If beveling using an angle iron, plasma cutting guide, or freehand, remember that the material thickness increases proportionally with the bevel angle. Depending on the thickness of the metal being pierced, there are two methods of piercing. If piercing thin metal, hold the torch perpendicular to the workpiece and pull the trigger to transfer the arc. If piercing thick metal, hold the torch at an angle so that the nozzle is within 1 16th of an inch or 1.5 millimeters from the workpiece. Pull the trigger to start the arc, then slowly rotate the torch to an upright position. In both methods, when sparks are exiting from the bottom of the workpiece, the metal has been pierced, then cutting can begin. Cut quality and consumable life are two very important factors for operators. To ensure that the torch consumables last as long as they are designed to last and perform to hypertherm specifications, 
Follow the instructions in this video, refer to the operator manual or setup card for more information, and follow proper system maintenance procedures. A number of factors determine how long consumables last. Air quality. Piercing technique. Length of cut. Operator skill. Material thickness. And material type each plays a role. Hypertherm offers a variety of accessories designed to enable you to get more out of your PowerMax and to protect your investment. These include plasma cutting guides, leather torch sheathing, system dust covers, face shields, and gloves. For more information about any Hypertherm products, please contact an authorized distributor or visit our website at www.hypertherm.com. Please register your system online at www.hypertherm.com slash register. Thank you from all of us at Hypertherm for purchasing a PowerMax.